first of all make sure that your windows 10 is up to date with version 22h2 now for this you can type in w-i-n-v-e-r in windows search box click on winward and make sure it is up to date with version 22h2 and all the latest updates are installed so make sure these updates are installed and then you can also visit this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser and you can go through the FAQs so scroll down at the very bottom you will see this uh, Windows 10 end of support and here you can see Windows 10 extended security updates so you can just go through these FAQs and then if your Windows is up to date uh, you can go to Windows settings and then you can go to update and securities now once you update your windows 10 to the latest version you should be able to see enroll in extended security update but if you don't see it then you can use media creation tool to update your windows 10. to use media creation tool uh, you can copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down here you can see uh, media creation tool so you have to click on download now and once the download is complete you have to run this exe file so run this exe file now once you run this exe file uh, you will see the screen click on accept over here and then select option upgrade this pc now by default upgrade this pc now would be selected make sure this is selected and then click on next and then click on accept and then this will take some time let the download complete once the download is complete uh, you will see this screen you will see accept once again click on accept and then here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install this install will take some time and once the installation is complete restart your computer and then you can go to uh, windows updates and then you will you should be able to see enroll now option over here click on enroll now and it will be asking you to enter your email and password your microsoft email and password make sure that you enter the correct password and then you should be able to enroll so this is how you can get the option so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel